Hi, my name is Dr. Karina Yu, and I'm a physician, anesthesiologist. I have three children ages five and under, and I've had the privilege of working in both an MD-only private practice and an academic setting during my three breastfeeding journeys. Breastfeeding is a very personal choice, but the CDC, WHO, AAFP, and ACOG describe various health benefits to both mother and child based on studies. Not breastfeeding is associated with increased maternal risk of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. Breastfed children perform better on intelligence tests and have a lower risk of sudden infant death syndrome, asthma, obesity, diabetes, ear and GI infections, and severe lower respiratory disease. These health benefits for children persist beyond the duration of breastfeeding, which is why organizations recommend infants to breastfeed for at least six months, up to two years, and the issue has become a matter of public health. Breastfeeding is not always an easy choice. In my experience, I suffered from an initial low milk supply that required formula supplementation. I wanted to give up. However, I watched my babies cry and fuss with presumed abdominal discomfort and gas from formula, which is not as easily digestible as breast milk and certainly more expensive. I worked hard to increase and maintain my supply, drinking 60 ounces of water a day, which sent me to the bathroom hourly, taking fenugreek supplements until I smelled like maple syrup, and pumping every two hours for 30 to 45 minutes to increase stimulation and production. I successfully weaned from formula, and was pleased to see my babies gain weight and thrive. Happy tummies lead to happy sleep. Please help me gather data by filling out the anonymous form on your experience with breast pumping in the workplace. Thank you.